Good evening, it's Michelle again. Okay, welcome to our peer review channel. If it's your first time viewing, I hope we don't pee you off too much so that you don't view again. <laughs> right, we've done another brew dog, uh, brew york, sorry. Um, we've done a few already. I think this is our fourth one of about 12 we're going to do. Then Michelle's going to be doing the advent calendar. Which I'm really excited about. There's some great stuff in there. Through December. So mm -hmm. every day there'll be a different beer. Um, this particular one is called Granny Smith's Brambling Habit. It comes in at 5% ABV. It's a blackberry and apple pie pastry sour, which I'm pretty excited about, if it I'm does honest. It sound very, very good. It's, um, yeah, right, I'll, let's get it poured and I can take the picture and you can read the write up because the write up's really interesting. Yeah, okay. What they've wrote, that's actually on their website. It gives you more, probably more of an indication of well, real. Yeah. So, sometimes a it. company will big a product up and it doesn't meet the expectations and sometimes the product is so well you're like oh. Well we always remember this company because it was the first sale we ever had. Yeah, that's quite four correct. odd years ago. So there you go, an interesting can. Oh it can is. See. The graphics on this are pretty funky. So oh. there we go. This is what we've got. Oh, that smells mad. <laughs> yeah, it got even. You, I don't think you're going to see it on camera, but the foam on this is quite purpley. So we've got some lovely colours going on there. Right, so if you want to read that, I'll I do a screenshot. The... I'll do the thing for YouTube so we don't get sued. Blackberry and apple pie pastry sour. Brewed in collaboration with our pals Umbar Brewery for Granny Smith's Brambling Habit, we went down an autumnal path with this kettle sour to welcome the incoming cold season. Blackberries and apple combined in this luxurious pastry sour. Juicy blackberries add a jammy sweetness with the apple, which brings a haze and a body to this classic fruit crumble flavour combo. An addition of warming cinnamon brings comforting crumble vibes, just like Granny used to make. That sounds good. Yeah. That sounds quite good. Straight away, you've got to do this. <laughs> you smell it. Sometimes straight away. just when you're pouring them out, you, you get the aroma even before you put your nose to You the can glass. smell your crumble and you can smell your cinnamon. Oh, yeah, cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon is and apple, quite prominent. Your apple, your blackberry. blackberry, everything it says. Oh, yeah. I think uh, I think I'm gonna like this. <laughs> so, am I going first? Yeah, go on, you go first. Okay, it smells lovely, doesn't it? Mmm. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's mad. Um. How do I go on that? It, oh. Everything is just. <laughs> oh wow. A lot going on here. <laughs> right to the end, and the mm. end, you're getting the apple burst. Right at the end, yeah. You're getting cinnamon and you other flavours. The cinnamon is subtle, but it's all the way through. Yeah, but until the end, and then the cinnamon drops off, and you just you get, get the, the apple. apple. It's absolutely mad. This is why I love sours. You see, mm. you're getting the slight sour kind of buzz to begin with. Yeah, I'm tasting the sweetness of the blackberry. The cinnamon is there. It's subtly combined in with everything else, and as Paul says, you are being left with that crisp kind of apple taste at the end. That Granny Smith's apple. Wow. How did they do that? I don't know how they do that. Your mouth but that is kind of magic in a glass. <laughs> that is mad. It wow, is very York. Good. Ooh, you're delivering every you keep, time. You keep on impressing us. That's um, isn't it? it's the mm. way it just it just changes on your palate totally, doesn't it? And the aftertaste is like eating a a cooking apple. Mm. Or oh, it, you no, know. Like, it, Cooking apple's quite sour actually. Yeah, because it's, you've got that uh, sour hint still to the end. Uh, yeah, I you suppose in a way you're quite right. I used to love eating cooking apples, that's why you I can relate to it. You are quite right actually. There is a tartness to it. 
That's a nice one. Though. But it's balanced off because you have got the sweet, juicy blackcurrant taste. You mm. blackberry taste. You have um, a cinnamon there that's warming, which makes it really great for the season. Um, wow. <laughs> that really is magic in the glass. That is very, very good. So I think, as I say, that's our fourth one. This is our fourth review. And so we've got a four of ten, and we've got a mm. few more to go. But that is up there. That is, that is. I'm not sure. You're right. I'm thinking cooking yeah. apples. Oh, because it's kind of juicy. But you are right because that's what's eat, giving it the I used to eat cooking apples. When my mum used to make apple crumble as a kid, I always <laughs> used to eat the cooking apples, and she's like, "Don't do that. You get the, you know, <laughs> the um, number yeah, twos." Number twos yeah. And I just was addicted on them and mm. right at the end it was like I haven't had that taste or that mm. flavour like since probably the, the 80s when I used to eat them. It really it really does deliver everything it's saying it's in there is in there and the combination of the, all these complex flavours mm. are so well balanced out. And it's sour all the way through. And these, you've got the warmness of the cinnamon which makes it perfect for autumn time because yeah. a lot of styles you do feel oh they'd be great in the sunshine but this one you can tell it's it, it's great this is now very it's got a really good done. autumn vibe to it um yeah i, really, I think that's very clever brewing really I'm really cleverly done i've not i'll just say my my first one by them because it goes back to the first sour i gave a 10 out of 10 because yeah. it meant a lot to me that i still liked it four years later it took yeah. a long time to find them again, didn't it? It was only by mm. coincidence. We'd never experienced anything like that before. And we're thinking, sour beer, what on, what on earth is this? That's, that's well, it was in a bar in Stratford Could in London. Could it possibly be any good, or is it going to be horrible? Oh, it's we have to so try, nice. we have to try a bit. And the guy poured us a bit to try it. And we were just like, wow. We'd already ordered our pints and had them sat in front of us. So we were a bit gutted, really. We hadn't had that, were we? And then we went back. And they changed it because yeah. it was only there as it a temporary fleet, and right we couldn't there. get it. And the rest is history now. But it is. Brew York, if you ever yeah. watch this, mate. <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely. Really impressed. It's just, just for a complex drink, it's mm. absolutely mad. There's so much going on, and it's all good. Mm. Um, I. I can't say it's my favourite because the goose is still my favourite. I'm dying to try the seven point five goose. Mm. But this, seriously, this is a definite yes all day long. It's a banging 9.5. <laughs> this is as close to as good as it gets. I'll say a strong 9. It, and is, it is good. Very, it's very good. Definitely <laughs> delivered. It's, it does. I mean, you could do this review in one minute and say, what have we just read you here? It is correct. It is, yeah. It's not like <laughs> certain companies, you read things and you're yeah, like, and that's then really you're not like that. when you try it. You are not disappointed when you try it. But so far, we have not been disappointed. Nope. Four out of four people. <laughs> Carry on, Brugel. Yeah. Right. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, please. Come on, join us. I know 50% of you that watch our videos <laughs> are not. Must be her. Can't be me. Right. Anyway, subscribe, like, take care. Bonjour. See you next time.